Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are talking about the conjunction, this conjunction that we're going to be experiencing on December the 21st uh, with Jupiter and Saturn. A lot of people don't really understand the massive transformation that we're going into. Uh, the easiest way to, you know, to have you understand it is uh, Saturn and Jupiter are like the biggest baddies in the planet, right? They're like the biggest planets uh, in the solar system, aside from the sun, of course. Uh, so it takes roughly about 20 to 30 years for it to go into every single sign. Uh, the difference in these in this occasion is that we have Saturn and Jupiter conjunctioning in Aquarius. Now, what that means on a global scale is that it takes about 200 years for Saturn and Jupiter to go into an element so the signs of elements as an example um water element when saturn and jupiter were conjunct together that's when we had this massive explosion of the renaissance uh when we you know seen a lot of painters rise a lot of people uh that were poets a lot of emotions you know the water element is all to do with uh with creativity and creative outlook so there was a major expansion in that as well as everybody commuted through boats you know the water element then we move forward to the fire element when jupiter and saturn conjunct um in fire element and that's when we experienced the wars that was when we experienced um a lot of you know colonization and you know pretty much taking power um, through aggression or form of aggression and then we move into the 1800s up until now and it's been uh, Saturn and Jupiter have been conjunctioning in earth energies uh, we're just leaving the Capricorn sign and dipping our feet into the Aquarian era so we're going into this transition of um, like I said it takes about 200 years roughly for Jupiter and Saturn to conjunct in a different element uh, so what that means is that, you know, like I said, in the past, we've been through water, we've been through fire, uh, we've been through earth, and now we're going into the element of air, which is the family air, uh, Aquarian, we're starting off with Aquarius. So it's all about expansion, it's all about looking to the future, it's all about science booming, it's all about, um, you know, uh, working or finding ways of working through other means other than the office the nine to five type of job that type of energy uh aquarian all to do with healing and humanity so again we are after all this chaos that has been happening the past couple of years we're finally going into a healing phase we're going into where uh the life you know and and the love for life is going to be taking center stage here what does this mean for you, Aries, out there? Well, Jupiter has been in your 10th house. For a lot of you guys, I want to say the past couple of years, you've been experiencing major changes in career, um, a, a lot of opportunities to make finances or to stabilize your finance, uh, your finances, uh, work in the workplace, feeling like you are taking on more responsibilities. Uh, profession has been taking center stage in your life the past year or so because you've had, like I said, uh, in the 10th house, it's been very activated. Um, so for some of you guys feeling like a lot of responsibilities in your work life, however, uh, Jupiter is going into your 11th house. What does this mean? And Saturn as well with the conjunction, they're going to be entering your 11th house. This is a financial house as well, you guys. So a lot of financial breakthroughs, a lot of career breakthroughs for some of you. Um, for some of you guys finding an employment or finding a job that you're really passionate about and that you're really, uh, you are very going into this energy of finding your purpose or connecting your, how you do your resources or how you find your resources connecting to the path that you want to take in life. So again, major transformation there, a lot of financial opportunities for expansion, uh, even where you felt like you were restricted. For some of you guys, if you were dealing with the situation at work where you felt like there was a bit of resistance or a bit of, um, 
not fully being able to expand or not fully being able to take it to the next level that's no longer going to be an issue going into the 11th house um this is like the feeling of stuckness or restricted is no longer going to be there and the conjunction will bring career opportunities for you um also we're going to have mars it's going to be in your ascendant so be patient and cautious because emotions can be affected highly in this um in this placement and again mars is aggression so be careful people may get under your skin people may um try to get you out of character try the best you can not to put yourself in situations where uh they can bring out the aggression in you because you may later on regret that so be cautious about that in the beginning of the year uh for all of you guys a portal for new knowledge is also opening up here with Saturn. This is wisdom. This is looking to the future uh, and planning for the future in a in a more like building on a solid foundation for a lot of you guys. Um, also, uh, try to avoid risky situations, like I said. Uh, for money, your social circle, for many of you, sorry, your social circle is going to be increasing. Uh, what does this mean? Uh, this means that this is the time where in our lives we meet mentors, where we meet people that we highly respect and highly admire, where people come into our lives to broaden our horizons, to allow us to see things in a very different way with major uh, expansion. And like I said, building on solid foundations, it's going to be very important. And it's going to be something you're going to be experiencing throughout the year of 2021. For others of you, this could bring to you uh, ending of friendships or people that you choose to connect with or people that you choose to be around. Uh, but this is a positive thing. This just means that sometimes, unfortunately in life, when we start to expand or we start to grow or we start to put in the effort and really be focused, like laser focused, um, there's going to be a lot of connections that weather through that process. And it is not a negative thing. Sometimes people are, you know, they're their influence or their lessons or their teachings to us uh, come to a certain conclusion uh, because we're being elevated. So you're being pushed to grow out of that circle. Uh, some of you guys even changing lifestyles. Um, also keep in mind that when we're talking about uh, Saturn and Jupiter conjunctioning, um, a lot of the times when we feel like, especially those that have like <clears throat> if you are connecting with a very shadow side um you may be challenged in the sense of uh really opening your eyes to certain things certain behavior certain traumas of your past that are going to be coming up but this is only for you to address so that healing can begin and you can be able to push forward or move forward in a positive way so let's get into your reading aries let's see what spirit has for you guys for this coming 2021 Spirits, please give me 12 sets of cards to represent each single month and what changes or opportunities are coming to Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising uh, for the month of, uh, sorry, for the year 2021. What is unfolding for Aries for 2021? 12 sets, 12 months. Okay. Okay, so we're doing January here, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. September, whoa, October, November, and December. Okay. All righty, my lovelies. Let's see what is unfolding for you guys. Now, for the month of January, you have the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is talking about being able to see clearly, being able to um pretty much make methodical moves when it comes to your finances and when it comes to your career for those of you guys that have started a business on the side and are currently still working um a nine to five job as an example 
uh, the month of January, you're going to be making a decision and you're going towards what's bringing in more abundance to you. For some of you guys, this could be the beginning of financial freedom uh, for those of you guys that are entrepreneurs or that you have been getting or trying to get the business off the ground. January is going to be very expansive in that sense. For others of you, this could be a representation of an opportunity coming in in regards to your finances or in regards to your career and having almost a clear vision of where you're going, uh, not hesitating to take these opportunities or to take this specific opportunity that's coming to you in regards to finances. Uh, for others of you, this could be a representation of an offering. There is an offering coming through for you. Again, for some, it's connected to business, connected to money. While for others, this could be romantically. This could be a situation, excuse me, a situation where you're coming out of some type of divorce, some type of separation or ending of a relationship, and there is a new love offer coming in for you for the month of January, uh, even going into February. Now, your next cards here is the Two of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. So there's definitely expansion here. If you can see here, we have the Ace, right? A new opportunity, a new manifestation coming through for you. Then you go from a Two to a Three. So there is major growth in regards to your finances. For some of you guys, you're going to be feeling in the month of February like you don't have a lot of time. Like you're either putting all your time and effort in business uh, or in your finances or in your career. Uh, this could be working long hours as well. And there's almost a feeling like you're being a little bit in balance or you're ignoring your love life or personal life. Uh, February is going to be very important for you guys to find um, to find stability or balance in your career and personal life. Now for the month of March, we have love coming in. We have the Ace of Cups with the Queen of Cups. So this is a uh, person coming in that is emotionally available to you. They are, if you've been waiting or you've been dealing with a specific individual, you have two aces here. So major transformative energy. There's ending cycles, but also new beginnings with this Ace of Cups and the Queen of Cups. If you've been waiting on someone to become emotionally available or there was a connection that's already been built, but it hasn't really progressed, I see it progressing in the month of March. For a lot of you guys, you're going to be experiencing new love coming in or new opportunities in regards to love and romance. Uh, this is wish fulfillment. You have two aces, so you're on the beginning uh, pivotal moment for you guys uh, to majorly transition when we're talking about love and when we're talking about finances as well. There's a lot of healing that's coming in here as well. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with water energy. Uh, Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces type of energy. Now for the month of April, you have the Empress and the Three of Wands. Uh, so they're saying there's a lot of opportunities around you in regards to career, in regards to your finances. I feel that for a lot of you guys, you're going to be experiencing um, having the opportunity to be financially free. So when I hear financially free, this could be uh, that you start to experience in the month of April. If you have a lot of debts, if you owe, um, I, I see you guys being able to not only pay that off, but you're actually building on something. You're building on a new beginning that is, like I said, solid foundations with Saturn's energy there. Uh, the three of wands, this can also represent being able to, uh, or getting to an opportunity of having to travel, and it could be in connection with your money. It could be in connection with love for some of you. Um, the Empress is all about abundance. This is like being able to really count your blessings for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that have really been tested. Um, I, what I'm hearing is for a lot of you guys, you're starting to see life from a very different perspective, especially when we're talking about the future. I know Aries has a tendency of being a little bit impulsive, but I feel that you guys are definitely going to be taking on a more mature type of energy for this year of 2021. A lot of wisdom coming in, lessons that you keep going through or you have been tested or you have gone through. At this point, it's like you are learning those lessons and you're implementing them and you're moving forward from that. So very positive energy. Now for the month of May here, we have the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, finding out about a situation at work, perhaps... Um, a person that you trusted, perhaps a person that you worked with uh, shoulder to shoulder, 
uh, there are certain things about this person that are being revealed. For some of you guys, it could be drama, like rumors and stuff like that about that individual um, and their lifestyle <laughs> is, what the, is what they're telling me. For others of you, it could just represent a person that um, you worked with or you are around, or this could be a person in your social circle where you find out their true intentions. Perhaps some of you guys, you see them as a friend. Uh, you see them as someone you can confide in. And for the month of May, I feel that there is certain clarity that you're getting about in this individual and you're choosing to walk away from that or you're choosing to cut your ties from that. Now, for the month of June here, we have the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. This is financial stability. This is you being able to, uh, for some of you guys, this could be planning or making moves into transition, uh, getting new property, getting a new car, for some of you guys getting investments, uh, for others of you purchasing your first house. Um, with the Knight of Cups, this is an offering that is coming through as well to be able to stabilize some type of relationship or some type of emotional bond here. Now, this could be in relation to your children. Uh, this could be in relation to uh, family members that have, you know, there's been a uh, not much communication happening there. For others of you, this could be a love offering coming through that has to do with commitment or some type of, uh, you know, some type of uh, taking it to the next level is what I'm hearing. Now, for the month of June, sorry, July, you have the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Wands. I feel that it's very connected to the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles here. For some of you guys, you're setting on a new journey. Uh, for others of you, there is a new beginning that's happening that has or is very connected to your home life or to uh, partnerships. Uh, this could be you taking on a new partnership. This could be you um, stabilizing or deepening some type of connection. Although you may be challenged in the very beginning, especially those of you guys that have been single for a while, rearranging your schedule or making time or learning to put other people as a priority is going to be something difficult for some of you. But with the 10 of wands, uh, this is really, it's a positive thing because you're going to a new beginning, a new chapter in your life, especially when we're talking about uh, partnerships and love as well. Now for the month of, that was what, July, August, okay. So for August, August and September are going to be very transformative for you guys. I can tell you guys that off the bat, write it down on your calendar, do what you must. Now for the month of of August. You have the Sun card and the High Priestess. This is talking about a blessing coming through and this is a blessing that it's almost like a hidden blessing. So if in the month of August you're feeling like things are not going your way or like you're being challenged in some shape, way, or form or even having some type of health concern, uh, what they're telling you here is do not fear the resistance that you're currently experiencing in this month. It will come out to the best of your interest. You are protected. Um, listen to your intuition, Aries, especially if you're making choices in regards to your finances, in regards to investments, in regards to money or the physical money. What they're telling you here is if you pay close attention to your intuition, you're going to be hitting everything on the mark. Um, for some of you guys, this could even be intuitively being pulled towards opportunities that are bringing money to you uh, that is unexpected. Again, Listen to your intuition. That's going to be very major for you for this month of August. Now for September. <sighs> for September, we have the Emperor. This is you with the Tower. Major transformation here. For some of you guys changing residency. For others of you changing careers. For others of you, um, you know, finding yourself in a situation where you're uh, thinking about starting a new life, a new chapter in your life. For some of you guys, this could be this could be a connection as well that's coming through for you where you feel like it's going to literally shake everything around you uh, in a positive way. Now, the tower is very transformative energy. A lot of people fear the tower. Never fear the tower. Whether it's through good or bad, it is always to create or to bring you to your life path, to your purpose, to your higher good. Uh, but next to the emperor, this is like massive, empowering type of energy. This is you becoming you. This is you stepping into 
your power. This is you being confident and being radiant about what you're doing. This is you transforming your life. For some of you guys, this could be a representation of changing, completely changing uh, your life, your lifestyle. Uh, for others of you, this could be, like I said, uh, we're walking towards a relationship throughout the year. This could be where you seal the deal or where that person decides to seal the deal and it comes as a surprise to you. Uh, so very positive energy there. Now for the month of October, we have the full card and the ten of swords. I feel that this, I feel that I pulled these cards out for another sign. I'm not sure which one it was. Not sure if it was Scorpio. There was another sign that I pulled these cards out for. Um, but for the month of October, the full card and the ten of swords, you're completely detaching yourself from negative people or people that do not serve a higher purpose for you cutting out a toxic connection or a toxic relationship for others of you uh this is you uh ending a certain toxic trait now i do want to highlight with the emperor and the tower card for some of you guys especially those of you guys that have uh difficulty controlling your impulses especially when we're talking about relationships in the month of october you're going to be tested in regards to this connection that is building throughout the year uh, with a temptation. And I feel that you're no longer going to play a part to falling or hindering or jeopardizing a genuine connection over an impulse or something temporary. Uh, so this could be an ex coming back. This could be a person asking for another opportunity. All the while, things are booming and going great for you in regards to relationships. But I feel that this is the year where you become awakened Aries, where you are taking self-responsibility and uh, taking ownership of the decisions that you make and no longer putting yourself in situations that could jeopardize what you've been working very hard or building towards. Uh, so very beautiful energy there. Now for the month of November here, we have the Page of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Um, so this is very aggressive type of energy. Again, remember what I said, be careful with... Uh, allowing people to get the best of you or to challenge you in any shape, way, or form. Uh, make sure to keep your temper in control. Uh, we go back to that of the Ten of Swords and the Fool. Uh, let go of past behaviors. Do not play the Fool anymore. And especially because of this massive growth that you're going to be experiencing for 2021, don't put yourself in a situation where you can jeopardize everything you've been working very hard to attain to achieve or to stabilize. So again, I feel November is going to be very testing for you. Now, finally, going into December 2021, you have here your card, the King of Wands with the Moon card. The Moon is something that is hidden, something that is unbeknownst to you or you're not aware of. But in the background of the Moon, we have here the Sun. So the Sun is illumination. It There is some type of illumination that's coming in for you, Aries for the month of December. For some of you guys, this is self-actualization. So what does that mean? Well, when you self-actualize, what that means is you are releasing yourself. There's no more attachments. You're becoming yourself or your person or who you're meant to be. There is some type of spiritual awakening happening here in December. For some of you guys, this is looking to the past throughout the whole year. And how far along you've came. For some of you guys, it could be that you are pretty much thrown aback um, because of the major changes that have transpired in 2021. For others of you, this is just you, like I said, coming into yourself and being able to balance your light and your shadow, shadow side, no longer suppressing either one and being your true authentic self. So this is beautiful, major transformative type of energy. Um, also, what they're saying here is for some of you guys, this could be uh, connecting on a very spiritual level with your self-purpose. Uh, some of you guys may be even receiving messages from the spirit realm. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your intuition. I feel that some of you guys may be connecting with a spirit. Uh, this could be a higher spirit. This could be a partner, uh, friend, family, relative, someone that has passed on to the spiritual realm that are guiding you. They may be coming to you. They may be around you or they may be communicating with you through dreams. So pay attention to that. All right, my lovelies. I hope that you guys enjoyed these videos. If you do, 
definitely like comment below let me know um so that we can continue doing this i did this last year i'm doing it now this year uh it does you know a lot of effort and energy does go into these uh, videos so if you like it and you would like to see another update at the end of the year 2021 to see what's to come for 2022 definitely let me know <laughs> all right i wish you guys the very best i love you guys i send you love and light i wish every single one of you guys the best of luck for this coming 2021 happy holidays and i'll see you guys soon bye